Here I am, Leon C, a.k.a. Morpheus. You are now listening to the Academy of Wow. And I got a very special topic for you today. You already see that title sitting there blinking in your face. If you don't see it, then I don't even know why you clicked on it. But now that you are here, I greatly appreciate your undivided attention, ladies and gentlemen. This subject is brought to you by a couple of women that my companions was talking to recently. I've shared with you about my three companions and how it all came to fruition. And they're very interested in learning, not being a part of, but learning why modern women think the way that they do. So they deal with a lot of women's circles and some of them are single. Yes, I understand because I deliver the red pill on many subjects and single women keep other single women single, right? So, yeah, they're very cautious. They understand and overstand the conditions of being around negative influences. And I am very cautious as well. And we take, we have a protocol that we have in place in our relationship that actually pushes negative women away from them or keeps them from trying to influence them and to bring them down to the Americanized dumbed down, weak, broken, separated, deteriorated, and dilapidated mindset of the average modern person who exists today. Yes, I had to put it like that. But there was a couple of girls who said a few things that I'm going to shine the light for you, my classroom. I've already spoken with them about this, me and my companions, but we find it very fruitful to share this with you as well, because it's going to benefit you and give you a certain angle at this particular discussion that you probably was unfortunate not to see in your previous experiences. See what, modern common women would say as an excuse that is the majority not all of them I didn't say all the majority which is consisted of you can say more than 50% okay which teethers in a realm of 75% out of 100 which is the majority some may say three fourths we asked the question how come you don't want to restart a relationship or and find a husband? These is what was outlined from the majority of the women in who we had questioned or interviewed. Number one, the girl said, we are worried that the guys we get with today, they're simply going to cheat and they are cheaters. Number two, they've explained that they were tired of cleaning up after men, such as putting their socks where it's supposed to be. When they come home, they just throw their shirts everywhere. The house is dirty. The men don't know how to keep themselves up. They got to bring order to their home or they got to act like the nanny or their grown mother in these men's life. So basically cleaning up behind this grown boy. Number three, they said that most men, men that they came across in the uh, westernized world is lazy. No ambition, low potential, low performing. Okay. And number four, no, number five. I'm, I'm getting it wrong. One, two, three, four. Number four. Number four is they said, well, yep, they don't communicate. Most men that they 
deal with or they date have communication problems are they not uh emotionally intelligent if that's ever a word it actually means he knows how to scan the room and understand uh reading sign language that most women usually do which i'm not going to discuss how silly it is okay and number five men lie they tell stories for an example a lot of men claim that they're going to do a certain thing in the beginning of the relationship and then they begin to show that they're not going to do that or there are some incidences where men will claim that they are uh financially well off that they are protectors that they are a decent individual and he begins to give her dreams and expectations that he can never provide or will not provide over time. Or, and he have provided it in the beginning just to hook her and to get her into the bedroom to donkey dunk. And then thereafter begin to fall into his normal common paces, which isn't the man that she first met. Now, let the classroom begin, ladies and gentlemen. Again, you are listening to the Academy of Wow Men, and I am your professor, also known as Morpheus. And I am here to give you an opening to a door that may be otherwise locked in your mind. And if there are women listening, this is valuable to you. And this is helpful to many men that we need to comprehend this. This is not a dagger at anyone, nor is it putting a person down, nor discussing the disparity of ignorance within any gene or gender. This is particularly discussing a fact that we need to overstand and comprehend. There is universal personalities. There is universal natures of the specific person, gender, such as man and womb, man. We have certain practices that we are here to perform as the bipedal homo sapien. We're also here to procreate and be very wise and cautious of the recreation that we actually do with our donkey donkey. But however, there is something that we are misunderstanding besides the universal habits that a certain gender may have. And that is, ladies and gentlemen, what we must understand is this. It's called choice. We all have choices to make and whatever that choice might be is the consequences of what we will receive. Now, during my studies and my companion studies as well, speaking to people, going to libraries, listening to podcasts, traveling the world and having discussions with women face to face is that we have learned that the majority, not all, the majority of the women have a certain type of guy that she chases. She has a certain type of man that she expects a certain performance from, and it's almost universal, almost. Definitely in America, you can say the westernized world. We've been to Asia, they have a different expectation. Europe, Russia, uh, Ethiopia, Africa, they have a they have a different expectation, but in America, it's almost like a cookie cutter machine warehouse somewhere that's molding these women and programming them to act a certain way and think a certain way as well and have the same desires, which indicates in my previous audios, or you can say videos for some of you that we're living in a programmed, mind-manipulated society. And if you don't understand that you're being programmed to self 
destruct your society or your family and your home, then be prepared to meet that end eventually because it will come. Self-ignorance is self-deletion. So here's the Shangri-La. Not going to waste your time. I'm not going to waste your time. It's the choices that women make. I just said it. If the majority of them, a lot of them, a hand few of them, or most of them, you would say, choose a certain type of man. He has to be ever so tall. He has to be ever so rich. He has to be ever so of a productive man in the society from the majority of these type of women they're going to get the majority of the results they're going to end up with the same results let me say that again they're going to end up with the same results let me say that again they're going to end up with the same results oftentimes it's not because men cheat ladies and gentlemen it's not because they are tired of cleaning up after these boys in man's clothes. No. It's not because men are particularly lazy, generally. No. It's not because men don't communicate or lie. It's because oftentimes those women make bad choices. You choose the wrong type of man and guy. That is your problem. That's what the modern woman is doing. She's choosing these guys. The problem isn't the man himself. You are the problem. If you decide to choose a certain type of man, a certain color, a certain height, a certain expectation, a certain performance, and you keep choosing these types of men with these type of professions, whatever that profession might be, if they're in the industries, if they're rappers, if they're ball players if they're entrepreneurs, whatever it is, and you keep getting the same results, that's because you keep fishing from the same pond. You are the one sitting there in your lawn chair and you're fishing from this pond because you see every other girl over here fishing in the same pond. And so instead of you going somewhere else to find a different result or get a different type of silver fish or platinum fish or a different type of common fish the general girl would rather go over there and fish in the general area because it's hot and popping you get all these girls over here wanting this type of fish when this fish is making them sick this fish is lazy this fish is non-productive or they cheat or whatever else that they may do are they they're not uh truthful which is the same as they lie so therefore, instead of her blaming and being responsible for the choices that she makes, she rather blame men. She rather blame the lazy men who she married. She rather, she rather blame the guy who she has to clean up after. But it's not as if he didn't show that in the beginning. Most times there are red flags. There are plenty of signs in sign languages, ladies. that men can show you in the first few weeks or months when you spend time with them. When you donkey duck and you are with them on intimate basis, on a constant basis, you should begin to understand some things about this guy. Unfortunately, the problem is plenty of women think that they can change their men. They think they can modify their men. They think they can clean this man up and, or you could say clean this boy up and transform him into a man. You are wrong most times. And so she waits long enough or at least too long for a year, a year and a half to two years with this guy who's otherwise maybe cheat. He, he, she has to clean up after him. He's lazy. He don't communicate and he lies and every other thing that that can cause her to become jaded or burnt and not want to get into another relationship. See, the problem with women not having accountability is that they don't want to face the accountability of making better choices. 
So instead of making a better choice of man, or maybe choosing a different um, a different culture, or a different kind, or a different height, or a different profession, or a different income, they'd rather just throw the baby and the bathwater out at the same time and just give up and blame every other man in the future for what the men that they have chose, excuse me, the man that they have chose, excuse me, the men that they have willingly chose, signed on for, signed up for, accepted between and in their life. Classic stupidity. When it is who you chose, which is the problem. So if they are accountable and responsible as grown women to make better choices and to think about themselves or mirror their bad decisions, then they will realize it's not the men. It is their choices. They're choosing the wrong type of fish. They're doing it because everybody else is doing it. Are they doing it because they hear it on TV? Are they they're they're told to do that by their mothers and our fathers who are misleading them down that path to be in a constant struggle? Even more so if this man is a businessman or he is pulling large amount of money or revenue home where he's never at home. So he don't have time to dally with her to toil with her so instead of her understanding or overstanding this she wants to claim and say that this guy just don't have time for her that he don't want to spend time with her he's always gone so she would end up using that as an excuse to go and cheat on him and blame it on him in the end when otherwise in reality she chose the man She chose this man. She chose this man, ladies and gentlemen. I'm speaking about accountability today. The problem is not men. The problem is the choices that women make. They choose specific types of guys who are in the same bracket, who's going to end up doing the same thing because they carry certain traits that are attractive to a lot of women. It could be confidence. It could be money or it could be their aggressive nature and or he makes her emotional in one form or the other and it could also be the fact that he is chased or he is also uh highly sought after by other girls so she's in the realm of competition anxiety as was said giving credit to someone else that didn't come from me that came from a different podcast that came from another guy not me I can't say who specifically said that. Otherwise, I'd give him that credit. I can just say it didn't came. It didn't come from me. Okay, but it makes sense. Competition anxiety. Okay. So therefore, it causes this guy to be her number one choice, even though she knows he's lazy. She knows that he's going to cheat eventually. She knows that he don't communicate all that well. And she does know that she lies. But that's what gives her the chaos and the emotional fluctuation. Or some people call that toxic behavior that she enjoys, which keeps her on the edge or keeps her thoroughly uncomfortable. So instead of her understanding this from your yours truly or and from her own nature, she rather blame everyone else for her bad decisions instead of choosing a different guy. Oftentimes, we're asking the universe for something that's different than what we may think it is on the list. Oftentimes we may ask for a fish. It could be uh, deer meat. You know, sometimes we may ask for a piece of bread. It might be, uh, let's see, it might be wafers. It might be uh, crackers or something. You know, we we always we are always on a constant basis thinking that we have one hundred percent control over the universe and life. You may have. A percentage of control but you usually don't have 100% control of all and everything there are some things that would just happen you cannot avoid it and one of the things that happen is 
needing to learn within yourself that you may want a certain type of person or a certain type of thing, but that may not be the thing nor the person for you. So while you're fishing on the west side of the river, where you really need to be fishing is on the east side of the river. That's where you need to be fishing. That's where your fish is, but you're told to fish in the west. You're told to swim over there, but you need to be swimming somewhere else. In order for a girl or a woman, you can say, to understand this, oftentimes she has to go through tests and trials. She has to suffer a little bit. Yes, she has to realize that she's being cheated on. She has to realize who's mostly lazy, non-ambitious, and don't communicate well and lie. But the key is, here's the trick, ladies and gentlemen. Are you ready? I'm going to tell you something. And I just said it again. The key is, most of them already know. Most of them already know that that guy isn't the one for her. She already understands that he's toxic, that he is no good, that he is disruptive, that he's a liar, that he cannot be honest, and or he's a beta. She knows this, but she doesn't want to take accountability to make that ultimate choice to choose a better guy, a better place to fish, and better choices that will be beneficial for her. Just like vegetables and, and uh, uh, what do you call that? Uh, there's the vegetables that you actually make a shake out of. Uh, blender, blender food, um, carrots, kale, broccoli, little things like that. It may not taste all that great all the time, but it's good for you. There are certain greens that you can put on your plate. There are certain types of drinks that you can drink that doesn't have that much sugar in it. And it may not taste all that great every day or any other time of day of the week, but it's the best thing for you. But just like grown damn kids... We always need something that's colorful and it's very, very sweet or it's very, very spicy or it's very, very hot. It's modified. It has high fructose corn syrup. It puts you in the hospital. It's going to in introduce you to diabetes, infections, illnesses, bad joints, cricket necks. Uh, uh, what do you call that? Uh, fragile hips, sore ankles, pimples on your face dementia everything that you can imagine but you want it because it's sweet and it looks good and it's advertised it's advertised it's the first thing in front of the store and that's the thing that you go for and not only that it's cheap to get but it's going to be expensive in the long run it's going to cost you your time it's going to cost her her fertility it costs her her youth it costs her her beauty it costs her body over years to deteriorate stressing with the bad decisions that she made and the guys that she thinks she could be in the back seat of the car with are in the car with and as soon as she realized that she can be on a better pace as soon as she realized that the better but you must understand they wait too long and they wait long enough where they forget that they made the choices. They forget that nobody pulled her in the car. She walked in into the car. As a matter of fact, he may have opened the door and she went and sat in to go along for the ride. Now, all of a sudden, it's his fault. Now, all of a sudden, he's the monster. Now, all of a sudden, he and every other man on the face of the planet is considered as a creep or evil, or we only want one thing, or uh, we're lazy, or we, we don't know how to clean up after ourselves. So if we're in a long-term relationship, she's going to end up cleaning up our socks and our pants that, just, we don't want, that we just want to throw on the back of a chair. She's wrong. The choice is she made those choices since she was the age 18. Nobody forced her to do anything. These guys did not force them to be with her. She decided to be allured enough. That's the only thing she can be is allured or manipulated. But she made the choice to fall for the lure. And now she's blaming every other man afterwards. The problem is women make bad choices, ladies and gentlemen. They make bad choices and they know they're making bad choices, but it brings them emotional flair. It brings them emotional discomfort. 
That's the problem. And because it brings them emotional flair and discomfort, they stick with it. That's just their black box in the back of their unconscious mind that they can't defeat. But it's possible. You know what happens? I'm going to tell you what happens. When she gets older, it's defeated. Because she's older now. She can't play those childish games like she used to play. The black box in the back of her head starts to malfunction as she gets older. It starts to lose its power on her decisions. She starts thinking wiser. And her experience, her experiences start waking her up. That's the problem. And the good, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. It's not a problem. It's a good thing that it's malfunctioned. But it would be better if that black box, that black box started malfunctioning at the earlier years of her life. But unfortunately, it's polished by the society. It's upgraded by the society. It's fixed and maintained by the negative society and other negative single women that want to convince this girl that every other man is that every man is evil and of no good and lazy and don't communicate. Da 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 da. So she goes along with it until the bridge breaks. And unfortunately, she began to see that those women are still not married. Are they've been divorced three times? Are they single mothers? And she begin, she begin to realize the problem is that they made bad decisions. And because those other girls needed a entourage of negative, remember, uh, misery love company. So the other girls needed her to be a teammate in evil. She began to realize that a bit too late. Then all of a sudden, the whole world is the problem and she's not the problem. Then she goes into delusion and then want to go back to her PhD or go dive into her career because there's nothing else for her to do. She ain't got no man. She don't have a man. She didn't possess a, a dude who was willing to stick by her side because she had no adhesive to stick to. I'm not going to go too deep into this because I can keep preaching and preaching and preaching. Somebody's going to catch the spirit and start saying hallelujah. So I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to go ahead and end it right here. The Shangri-La with a lot of issues that you are having in your westernized world as to the discussion with me and my companions and interviews, women make terrible decisions and they try not to correct them until too late in their life when they cannot go back and reverse time. They begin to realize they made so much of a deep disparage in their life or their marriage or the choices where it cannot be fixed. They can only move forward and deal with the catastrophe or the dilemma that is now presently um, stalking them. That's all they could do. So maybe if women start making better choices and decisions, they can get better outcomes. You can't go to the store that's selling lollipops and that's all they ever do and expect to get a hamburger. They sell lollipops, ma'am. You can't go to Burger King, White Castles and uh, uh, McDonald's and expect for them to sell uh, King Ribs. They don't. They don't sell King Ribs. Maybe Riblets. You know, our McRibs, we don't sell King Ribs. You know, and they don't sell Chinese food there either. But you're going in there thinking that they're selling Chinese food and tacos, and they don't. So if you're looking for your specific type, you got to go somewhere else. Just because somebody tell you that Home Depot uh, sell exotic cars, that doesn't mean you need to go there and wait for them to sell exotic car one of these days. You're going to be waiting forever. You're going to be sitting there selling yourself and your time outside of Home Depot. Let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. I'm going to quit. I'm going to quit. I'm going to quit. I'm going to go ahead and put the brakes on this. The whole point of the matter is there's some accountability that needs to take play here. If you make better decisions and choices, you're going to get different outcome. It's not the men that you choose. It's not the men who's the problem. It's them. It's you. Make better choices and choose guys who you vet properly and you spend time with. And then you may have a different type of man that you're dealing with. 
But if you're all looking for the same thing, you're all looking for the dollar bill, you're all looking for him to be so tall, and you're all looking for him to uh, still be this white knight beta, you're going to find out that the majority of the women are going to want that as well. And therefore, you become nothing but a number or a commodity. And so you set yourself up for failure. You're not, you, you just set yourself up for failure because he's not going to be committed to you. He's not going to want to just be with you because he has the pick of the litter now. He has multiple women that want him because you all want him because it's a hive minded thing. Instead of being independent and thinking for yourself as we claim to be as grown women. Seems to me that we like to have a childish mind and choose and select the same thing. Hive mindedness. That's not being an individual. That's being a part of the herd. Someone said once upon a time it's part of being the sheeple. You know what happens to sheep? They don't last long, but then you want to cry when you walk in away from this warehouse without hair on. But yet you walked in there with the thousands of the rest of them instead of you going somewhere else where it's safer for you. That don't make sense to me. That's backwards thinking. So if you want a better man, make better choices. If you want a classier man, make better choices. If you want a man that you get tired of cleaning up after, cheating on you, uh, don't like to communicate or lie to you, Find a better man. But you know what? Here's the shangwa law here. I'm going to go ahead and say it. When a woman is able to find, or when you, if you're the woman listening to this, able to find a better man, that's when you're able to find a better person within yourself first. Because before you start seeking the principles from someone else, you're going to have to start seeking those same principles out of yourself. And that all comes with making better choices. Y'all heard it here. No hate, just facts. Not pointing my finger, just accuracy. Not stepping on anyone, just helping you to step up and think differently. This is Leon C, also known as Morpheus. And until next time, I'm sure you received something from this. As usual, like it. I need your likes. Share it and subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And I will continue to give you 